Our professional football player and pro-life advocate is producing a documentary to, quote, unveil the truth about abortion, the laws, the history, and where our country is headed. New England Patriots tight end Benjamin Watson, a pro-life Christian and a father of seven, is executive producer and is also partially financing Divided Hearts of America. The movie features interviews that Watson conducted with Americans on both sides of the abortion debate. Watson, a vocal pro-life advocate, says, quote, the number one thing he is looking for is empathy on both sides. Joining me now is Jason Jones. He is the film's producer and president and founder of Movie to Move It. Jason, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. It's a privilege to be here. So tell us a little bit why it was critical to include both viewpoints for this movie. Well, you know, Roger Ebert said, the great film critic, said that films are empathy-generating machines. And in the end, you know, movie to movement exists to promote the beauty of the human person and to inspire solidarity with the vulnerable. When Governor Cuomo let, lit Freedom Tower up pink to celebrate abortion through all nine months and infanticide, that was the inciting incident for this film. That's why we decided to make this film. And we wanted to ask the question, who in America supports this? How did we get to a point in America where we have laws like this if people support it or if they don't? And so we wanted... When we were interviewing folks from the other side, we were very disciplined to say, we want to show them in the best light. We want their makeup, their hair, the lighting, everything has to be perfect. And we want to allow them to express themselves as clearly as possible so that then as filmmakers, we can respond. And we can respond in a way that Katrina Jackson, um, State Senator Katrina Jackson from Louisiana said that abortion is the one issue should, that should unite all Americans. And that's our goal with this film, is to unite all Americans around the idea that we should protect the most vulnerable members of the human family. And nobody is more vulnerable than the child in the womb and oftentimes the mothers that carry her. So we didn't want to be cheap, to have propaganda. We wanted both sides to express themselves in the best light as clearly as possible. Why do you think movies like this are important? Well, again, they're empathy-generating machines. You know, I started going door-to-door, -door, telling people that abortion was legal. When I first found out that abortion was legal, after my high school girlfriend called me crying when I was in basic training because her father forced her to have an abortion. And that's how I, I found out abortion was legal when I found out my child was destroyed by abortion. And I started going door-to-door, -door, and then from there I just wanted to reach more and more and more people. But there's no, there's no way to reach more people than a film. And then just thanks to this film, the amount of publicity and media we've been receiving because of Benjamin Watson, and there's going to be more reveals in the months leading up to our May release. You're not going to believe who's in this film. You're not going to believe who are some of our producing partners that were. And this will be revealed in the months that are, that, you know, as we lead up to the, the release. Yeah, you touched on how personally it's important to you. Do you mm -hmm. want to expand upon that? Yeah, well, I, I just will. I, I want to expand upon it like this way. I want to thank EWTN. I've been coming to the March for Life now for almost 30 years since I was a young man who had just lost a child to abortion. Today I saw a million Americans listening to the President of the United States. I saw movie stars, I saw NFL football players, I saw 200 representatives of the First Nation peoples of America from the Sioux to the Native Hawaiians. And we are coming together as a country and I feel like my country is honoring the dignity of my child and all the children that were lost to abortion. And we're so close to victory and I was thinking this today, that it's EWTN has been there from the very beginning for the March for Life, from the very beginning of EWTN. And that constancy of walking along with the March for Life has been a big part of why we're seeing what we're seeing today. It used to take a lot of courage to be pro-life. We're about a year away from it taking no courage yes. because we've won America's heart. Well, thank you for saying that. Mention EWTN. We appreciate that. Uh, we know that Ben's partially responsible for financing this yes. movie. How hard is it to receive funding for movies like this? It's hard. You know, I told my team when we got the idea, we're going to build the boat as we sail. And um, we literally fundraised shoot to shoot. And um, I said, if I have to low call across North America to raise the money for this film, we will. We hit a wall. Benjamin at one point offered to fund the whole film. I said, if we can't raise the money, um, we don't deserve to make this movie with you because you're risking your career. You're putting your credibility on. You're the type of man people pay a lot of money to wear their brands. You're, you're standing for life. And, um, but he had, he had said, I'll, I'll fund the whole thing. But we worked very hard to raise the money for this film. We were disciplined in our budget. Um, but it's hard for everyone to make a movie. Um, but it's already, the world, it's been three days since the Hollywood Reporter broke the story of our film. And um, 
it seems like the world is already talking about it. Absolutely. Speaking of the film, quickly, when is it going to be released and where can we see it? It's going to be released in May. If you can follow Movie 2 Movement on Facebook or go to our website and sign up. And our goal is ambitious. We want to pre-sell 2,000 showtimes because we want to wake America up in this very important year. On March 4th, Katrina Jackson, a bill she wrote, is going before the Supreme Court. This is a very big year, a very big election. The President of the United States just announced a pro-life caucus, a pro-life outreach. No president has ever done that. And we hope that our film maybe will be coming out in a post-Roe world, or very close to a post-Roe world, as the law changes people's opinions on abortion will begin to reformulate and we hope that we can help inform their opinions uh, that they stand with the vulnerable and they support life. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jason. We appreci appreciate well, it. Excuse me. Jason Jones, producer of Divided Hearts of America and president and founder of Movie to Movement. Thank you. Thank you.